Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy Mac. Today we're doing a little bit of fishing on a brand new lake. Uh, this is Lake Monkey Business in Tallahassee. It's a lake in my neighborhood. So the lake that I typically fish right across the street from my house is Upper Diane Lake. This lake is connected to this, uh, to my lake. Um, it's actually downstream. So they, the three lakes in this neighborhood feed each other through spillways. And this is the third lake in the succession. So first time I've ever fished this lake. Uh, this morning we're gonna be doing some frog fishing. And then as the sun gets up, uh, cause it's gonna be sunny today, um, we'll move on to some chatterbait fishing. So um, like I said, I don't know much about this lake. Uh, I do have a map, so I know kind of where the holes are. And we'll get out there and do a little more deep water fishing later on in the morning. So let's get it. Wow, right at the boat. Holy cow. I'm not even sure that I have the hook in. He followed that bait all the way to the boat. Thanks, dude. I needed that splash this morning. Oh, what a baby. He's just a baby. But we're on the board this morning. Oh, check out his eye. His eyes like his eyes missing on this side. The old one-eyed bass. Nice job, dude. Thanks, dude. Well, we're on the board. We are on the board. I popped that bait. And then when I would normally just retrieve it, I started walking it back and that guy came all the way to the boat and got it. I was literally pulling the bait out of the water. Up, oh, came out. Came out. God, that one didn't get it either. They're just smashing this thing, but they're not getting it. But we're good. We've been out here 30 minutes. We've had four bites. I only caught one fish though. Not good. Let's check the hooks on this thing. There's a little guy. Oh, he's tiny. He's a baby. He's just a baby. But he choked it. Good Lord.
performing major surgery here. There. Guy, let's get you back in the water. Sorry, buddy. I think I've already figured out it's mostly smaller bites in this lake. Oh, look at that. That's 10 yards away from where I was throwing. Oh, it walks like a dream. Look at that thing walking. It's too bad a fish doesn't want it. Oh, it walks like a dream. The jackal gavacho. Weedless popping frog. Look at that action. Oh, it walks. Oh, there's another deer. It's one of the things I love about living in this neighborhood. There are deer everywhere. Look, there's deer up on that dam too. Oh, look, there's two, three back in this yard here. There's one there. And there's a couple down on the dam, too. There's like a little, yeah, it's a little, little buck right there. A little two point. Got some fuzz on his antlers. What's up, guys? Seen any fish out here this morning? That's actually might be a little four point. I think I see a couple of tines on there. there might be some fish back here but maybe they've all moved to deeper water at this point this channel's only like two three feet deep yeah it's like three feet deep this should be a fish there's got to be fish back here I thought that might catch a fish, and it sure did not. Man, how can a bass resist that? Look at that thing. I mean, it takes no effort to walk this frog. Okay, I think the frog bite is over. Oh, I see an alligator. Old alligator. Right there. So, we might be turning the frog off. And starting with the chatterbait.
there's more deer over there. Boy, we've seen it all this morning. The alligator, tons of deer, turtles, birds. Geese, add that to the list. All right, we're gonna head on out to some deeper water. I just got this jackal gavacho frog. Um, I, there's a lot of scum in these lakes, so uh, you know, weedless frog this time of year is definitely the way to go. Um, and I've used a lot, but some of the scum's kind of going away now. It's been blown up on the banks. Um, a lot of cleaner water in some of these places that I fish. So uh, I thought going back to a popping frog, because um, I, I, I catch a ton of fish out here on poppers. But a popping frog is something that I had not had. So this jackal gavacho um, always spoke highly of. So I picked one up and just got it in this past week. Um, caught a few fish on it. So I'm just very impressed with how well you can walk this thing. I mean, without much effort at all. And you can pop it, which is why I wanted it. Gosh, if there was a bass there, I think he would want that. Sun's peeking out, trying to hit these shadows because top water bite has really slowed down here lately. I'm gonna hit this grass. And I think we're going to start throwing the chatter bait afterwards. Just love throwing a weedless frog because you can throw it up on the bank. You can throw it in the weeds. You can throw it in the grass. You can just bring it right out. Because I can tell you these bass and these lakes, they stay tight to the bank. You are going to get your bites within like the first three tugs. If you throw out from the bank like this, you're not going to get bit. Okay, let's get the old chatterbait going. Oh, look at there. No wonder we're not hooking fish. We're hooked into the body of the frog. Tried to bend these hooks out this week. They're really hard to bend. Thank you for your service. Heading on down. So, according to the map I was able to find on this lake, uh, the deepest point's about seven feet. Um, there's a couple of holes as I'm going down this bank, but then the seven foot holes are a little further down toward this corner where there's like a dam. So we'll, we'll do some chatter baits. We might get a little square bill out yeah. little jackhammer with a rage tail on it really good combo I really believe in the jackhammer
this is going up here toward the sun up toward this dam this is probably the deepest part of this lake so i'm probably going to spend the rest of the morning fishing this deeper water all these lakes are shallow i mean like my home lake about four feet deep all the way across so you can find some seven foot water it's probably some bass in it yeah. look at this map lake monkey business so i'm about right here so we're about to hit this deep hole where it's seven feet tell it's a jackhammer because of the split ring right here it's got this double high, higher quality ring there go the geese last idea a little bit of shade in this corner I mean look at that what a terrible cast not even remotely close to where I'm trying to throw look at that and he came off I knew it. I knew I'd get a bite down here. I knew it. I knew I'd catch another fish down here. I knew it. The dude's trying to quick release. All right, dude, you're going to have to be my last one of the day. Thanks, dude. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning of fishing. I, uh, I got to get out of here, but uh, we had a pretty decent morning. Uh, not as productive as I would have liked. Fishing was a little tough, but we did catch three 
on the uh, poppin' frog, the gavacho. We lost probably equally as many. I think I gotta work on my hooks a little bit, get them bent, a little bit more outward. Reel and rod are perfect for frog fishing, so just gotta work on technique and the frog. And we struck out on the chatterbait, so a little bit of work to be done, but we had a good, good morning. We found a couple of places here in this new lake where we can um, catch a few fish. So it's gonna do it for today. This is your boy Mac. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. There's another deer up there. Man, the deer are out this morning. That's a good sign. Oh, geez. Oh, I gotta get used to this reel and this rod.